Hi everybody, Linda here from the adult department and today I'm going to show you how I do my diamond painting. I definitely recommend this craft. Um, you can purchase a kit from Amazon. Right now Joann's is doing curbside pickup which is great. Start small. Just get a small one just to see if you would like it um, and give it a try. So basically when you get your kit you're going to have the actual canvas. You're going to have a whole bunch of different uh, plastic bags with the different color. Um, these are they're, they're diamonds, but they are actually called drills as well, or stones, whatever you want to say. You get the tray to put them in. You get your little pick-me-up tool. And you're going to get a thing of wax. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. Now for me, I like a lot of light. I have two lamps that I have set up over my project at all times. And I also have purchased a light pad, which I believe I got on Amazon. So as you can see, I turn it on and it reflects the light right through the canvas. Basically, you want to have some sort of a storage system when you um, open up your packets. When I first started, I just was putting them in little Ziploc bags, but I have since um, gotten another different storage system and I labeled them by the number and it just makes it easy for me. Sometimes I like to try and work the same color for long periods of time and then when I get towards the end, there's a lot of different colors. So you have the numbers on the side. It tells you what color that's going to be. And right now I have number 32, which is a symbol nine on my canvas. So I am going to just basically look for that number on here. And there's one right there. And it's very easy. You just pick it up with your tool, just like this. Look for your number right there and just put it down. I used to press really hard when I first started doing it, but then I found my hand would get tired. So right now I just gently place them and then what I do is after I finish a certain area, I just use my brayer and I just go over it and press down. You can use a rolling pin. You can put a piece of wax paper over it and just press down with your hands or the paper that comes with it. You can just put it back on and just press down to have them stick on there really well. And when you're finished with your project, you can frame it and it definitely a beautiful effect at the end and um, a very relaxing craft. I definitely recommend it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.